Well, I was preaching this meeting, and it leads up to this scriptures I'm going to pray. And this lady said, Brother Jesse, and I very seldom ever go to people's homes and, and eat. Not that I'm, that I'm not friendly. I'm a very friendly man. But if I do that, then, then I got to go eat everywhere. You understand? Then I weigh 5,000 pounds. You know? But anyway, I just, she said, I'm going to cook you a gumbo you've never eaten. If you're the best gumbo you'll ever eat in your life. And I thought to myself, honey, you got a long way to go. Because she wasn't from the south, or actually she wasn't from Louisiana, especially south of Louisiana. So I went, and you know, some people think a gumbo is a chicken diving in a pot, you know what I'm saying, and then jumping out. And I, all it is is ball, chicken, ball, water, a duck doing that, something like that. So I went down there, and, I, and, I, and you know, and I, we sat down, there and I met her husband, and he wasn't saved. And he was just kind of checking me out, you know, because I was a preacher, wondering what I want, probably an offering, you know, how that kind of junk is, because he hears all that junk, and that's not true, but, you know. And I noticed the two, but the two kids really liked me. But just, I'm so glad to come to this house. I said, thank you and everything. Finally, all this, you know, she cooks it, she puts it on the table, she brings it to me. Now I look at it, and I could tell by looking at it that it was El Trasho. <laughs> you understand? I could tell. I knew it was bad. I just knew it. So I thought, well, I'm going to eat this stuff, because Bob said he was sent before you. And if she asked me, I'm going to lie like a dog. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> And I said, I'm going to tell a little white lie. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, no lies are white. I said, oh. He said, you be honest. I said, that's easy for you to say. I'm the one here. I got to eat this trash. You understand? You up in heaven saying, suffer. You know? I don't want to eat this stuff. So anyway, she brings it to me. And she puts it in front of me, boy. And then she said, everybody, we all sit there. Now, I take this spoon. You know, it's one of these gumbo spoons, which is a big, you know, bigger than a normal teaspoon. It's like a, almost as big as a table. You know what a soup spoon is. So I go to do this, and I notice her husband looking at me. And he ain't tasting it neither. He's just looking at me. He's just holding it like this. And he just, I mean, he's staring at me. Now, and the two kids, they ain't eating nothing. They're just looking at me. And I'm not exaggerating a bit. They're just looking at me. I'm thinking, my God, man. You know, I guess, they, well, they think because I'm a kid, and you know, I'm a... Yeah, I'm going to test this gumbo. So I take it, and I put it in my mouth. And I... <laughs> Son, I mean, my God, worse than... Woo, trash. I mean, bad. Bad. Major bad. <laughs> Kill plants with it. You know, just bad stuff. This was... I'm, I'm trying... It was terrible. I hope this lady's not here tonight. I hope she's... <laughs> now watch this. So I'm sitting there, I'm going. Oh. And she said, well, how do you like it, Brother <laughs> Jesse? And out my mind, lie, 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 lie. And the Lord said, don't you lie, you tell her the truth. <laughs> Boy, you, I'm praying rapture. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Rapture, now. I don't want to, I don't want to say nothing. I mean, I'm not a rude man, you know? I'm not rude. I don't want to be rude. To me, if I tell it, be rude. And I'm, man, I'm just sitting there and I'm going. <sighs> now, her husband is just looking at me with that spoon. He ain't that touched me. Neither the kid. They're just looking at me. She said, Well, how do you like it, Mr. Jesse? I said, Well, ma'am. <laughs> God, I gotta be honest. I don't want I said, This is trash. <laughs> And the husband went, bam, and throwed that spoon down. He said, I know you're a man of God now. I know you are. I know you're a man of God. And it shot me. And the kids, they dropped their spoon. He said, honey, this is trash. We've been eating this for years. Don't never make this again. Ever. Never. Never. I'll never forget that. That man said, I've had preachers come here and eat that junk and lie like a dog. We know it ain't no good. You're the first man that told us the truth. He said, I believe you're a man that got, that guy got saved two weeks later because of that old dumb gumbo. Trash your gumbo. It was bad. I mean, and the kid said, Mom, Mama, we don't want to hurt your feelings, but never cook it again. I look over and I could see the dog in the corner going, thank you, Jacob. I ain't got to eat this junk neither. Now, her problem was not that she wasn't a good cook, is she didn't have the right ingredients. She didn't understand the flavor. She didn't know how to put it all together. <laughs>